You probably know what a Hearthstone mini set is. The collection of 38 cards released between each expansion. And if you've been following this series, you might also know that before Madness at the Darkmoon Fair, there were no mini sets. This is the fourth episode of a series where I go back to each older expansion and imagine what their mini sets could look like. In this episode, we'll dive into the mini set I made for Hearthstone's fourth expansion, Mean Streets of Gadget Set. You might recall how Mean Streets of Gadget Sand took place in the sprawling metropolis of Gadget Sand. Three powerful gangs have risen to prominence and divvied up Gadget Sand's territory between them. But the scales are about to be tipped, because a new gang has appeared and has started to claim parts of the city for themselves. The name of this gang is The Wretched Saints. I've made many new cards for this video, but before we look at those, I want to very quickly explain the rules for this. The idea is that this miniset would be released to standard Hearthstone today with cards for all 11 classes using modern keywords. I also imagine the main set would get re-released to standard alongside this miniset. Now let's look at the cards I've made, starting with one of the miniset's four legendaries. Mean Streets introduced Highlander cards for Mage, Priest and Warlock, and since Warlock wasn't given Highlander cards in any of the recent expansions, I decided to make one for them in this miniset. The shadows will envelop you! <laughs> Sarex the Specialist is a 4 mana 4 4 legendary minion for Warlock. If your deck has no duplicates, Sarex will let you choose a specialized hero power. These are two new variants of the Warlock hero power, better than the upgraded hero power. You can choose between Fell Tap and Void Tap, each keeping one element of the original hero power. Fell Tap will let you draw a card and then also deal 2 damage to the enemy hero. Void Tap, on the other hand, will deal 2 damage to your hero, but then discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Okay, I mentioned something about a new gang. In the main set, all the classes have been separated into three gangs. The Grimy Goons, which consisted of Hunter, Paladin and Warrior. The Cabal, which had Mage, Priest and Warlock. And the Jade Lotus, made up of Druid, Rogue and Shaman. Each gang had three neutral cards all three classes could use. But Death Knight and Demon Hunter doesn't fit anywhere into this. Which is why they've banded together and formed the Wretched Saints gang. Just like the other gangs, the Wretched Saints will have three neutral cards only usable by Death Knight and Demon Hunter. The first is Saint Supporter. This 1 mana 1 1 demon is meant to mimic the minions from the other gangs that let you discover a card from the three classes. This one will present you with a random Death Knight and Demon Hunter card and let you choose one to add to your hand. The rest of the Wretched Saints card all center around a new token called Wretched Blade. The Wretched Blade starts out as a 1-1 weapon that many new cards will let you equip, but the cards would usually also apply a permanent buff to the Wretched Blade. This means that the next time you equip the weapon, it will retain any permanent buffs you gave it. A way to equip a Wretched Blade is with the new Wretched Smith. This 3-mana 3-2 three neutral undead is part of the Wretched Saints gang and will let you equip a 1-1 Wretched Blade and then give it a permanent plus 1 attack. The legendary for the Wretched Saints gang is Karax the Wretched. We are unstoppable! This 6 mana 4 3 undead demon will let you equip a 1 1 Wretched Blade and then give it a permanent plus 3 plus 1 and lifesteal. To further support this new mechanic, all the cards for Death Knight in this miniset would center around Wretched Blades. The same would also be the case for Demon Hunter. The Wretched Saints miniset would also introduce a new legendary for Warrior. Oh, oh, you think you're tough, huh, pal? Frankie Fast Hands is a 4 mana 3 5 legendary minion with immune while attacking. Additionally, Frankie will attack all enemy minions with less attack than himself. That might not be that many minions at first, but remember, the Warrior package in Mean Streets was all about hand buffs, which Frankie benefits a lot from. Speaking of hand buffing cards in Mean Streets, this mini set would also introduce more cards based on the mechanics of the main set. This includes new variants of hand buffing cards for Hunter, Paladin and Warrior that will buff minions in your hand and then trigger an additional bonus if the minions were already buffed. 
In the main set, the cards for Mage, Priest and Warlock all share a common theme in a series of spells called Potions and their Highlander cards. So the mini set will also introduce a new Potion spell for all three classes and they will all trigger an additional effect if your deck has no duplicates. And who can forget about the Jade Golems that were introduced in Mean Streets for Druid, Rogue and Shaman. The Wretched Saints mini set would of course introduce new ways to summon Jade Golems. And then if the Golem has 5 or more attack, these new cards will trigger an additional bonus. The final card for this mini set is the last legendary, Hawkbiger Ram Tusk. <laughs> you are weak! Hawkbiger Ram Tusk is a 3 mana 3 3 neutral legendary. When you play Ram Tusk, he will resurrect your Hawk Gang and then let them keep any enchantments they had while alive. The Hawk Gang are the three Quillball Bikers from Mean Streets. Leather Clad Hawk Leader, Spiked Hawk Rider and Tanaris Hawk Chopper. All three cards were able to gain charge in different ways, so if you manage that, they will be resurrected with charge. This last card was actually not my idea. It was a card originally made by Necro over on Halfcards.net. I'm not gonna say its name. I like this card so much that I just had to include it in my video and Necro seemed fine with that. Though as you can see I changed a couple elements such as the text and obviously the name. Well that's actually all I have for you this video. I'm still looking for suggestions for a name for this series. So far I've just been calling it the mini set project. Anyway, thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel for more custom Hearthstone content. And I'll see you guys next time!